on this series of exotic baits I'm going to show you how to rig a crab for brusher um, muscle cracker in the Eastern Cape as they call it what we like to use down here is the muscle man crab or um, our standard uh, crab that we get on the beach what we need for it is pretty much sinker depending on the weight that your rod will throw I'm using a 5 ounce for um, the purpose of this episode the reason we use a teardrop is simply that when the brusher takes off it doesn't get stuck as easily as a cone sinker or a grapnel sinker for instance we're using a hoodlum heavy duty as you can see there it's one of our strongest hooks that we've got uh, brusher muscle cracker have got immense jaw pressure and they do bend most conventional hooks um, I've seen them look like circles when they finished with them so heavy duty hook that suits the size of your bait that you're going to be utilizing uh, power swivel heavy duty as well triple fish because it's a very hard line and high abrasion line it's nice that it lies the bait flat on the ground um, if you use the soft supple line it would actually get tangled up because it'll it, where you're targeting the fish is in that rough turbulent water so a very hard line that stays on the bottom is what you're looking for okay let's start it off That's 8 triple fish, that's what I prefer guys. There we go. Again, just a simple figure of 8 to join it. Remember to lubricate. <coughs> Pull tight. Okay. Now before we actually tie the swivel on, what we're going to do is take our bait needle, like so. We're then going to take our crab. Now the best way to rig it is to go, if you have a look at the bottom part over here, just under that leg. You can either go in through that leg if you want, and that's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it and break that leg off like that so you've actually got a hole in it I'm then going to take my bait needle like so and thread it all the way through and come out between those two feet over there so there we go and what we do is we just pull the line all the way through like that So that's basically what's happening. You just slide it in through the leg and it sits perfectly on top of the crab over there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, tie the swivel and we use a single small swivel. Again, it's to prevent it from getting stuck in the rocks as it's going through the rock. And that's about 40 centimeters, which is more than ample for what I'm looking for slide them all the way down cut that off now we generally take about a 16 kilo monofilament much thinner than the line that we were using for our snooting and the reason being if the sinker does get stuck it breaks off we don't like to use running traces um, for the simple fact that if the sinker gets stuck it's going to run backwards and forwards and you're eventually going to lose the fish anyway. So fixed trace.
and we make it roughly half the length of the original one so about there is where I actually want to tie my sinker so let's tie him on and what you can do is actually make grooves in these sinkers as well so you don't lose them as easily as if you didn't because as the sinker goes through the water it hits the rocks the fish pulls off it hits the rocks you lose a lot of sinkers So that's about the trace length. Okay, now what we do is we take these four legs over here, just for casting purposes, and that's where we're gonna tie up. So we just take our cotton, start at the bottom, and we just wrap the legs up quickly. Okay, there we go. So that's going to lie on the, the bottom, the rocky bottom, once you've thrown it in. And you can throw it as hard as you want. It does not come off. That basically will hold it on. So you can throw quite hard, quite far if you have to. The brush is going to come along, he crushes down on the crab and swims off with it. And hopefully that hooks him. And that's it there, guys. Very simple, very easy. Guys, if you're going to use exotic baits like sea lice or prawns or, or crabs, you need a permit. Make sure you get it from your local post office.